Hello, I'm Alan Hall. And I'm Kira Tarasevich. We're here to give you a brief overview of the changes to the Church's Benefits Plan that covers anyone who works for the United Church at least 14 hours a week. The most frequent question we are being asked is, what will happen to my or my family's medications if I've been on the optional plan? Kira? All prescriptions will migrate with you to the new active plan. If you are already taking a particular medication and it was covered under the former plan, it will continue to be covered. Any future prescriptions would be adjudicated under the new plan's criteria. The next question we're hearing is what about dental coverage? Will orthodontics be covered? No, orthodontics will not be covered, but everyone will have dental coverage at the rate of the former core plan. We're also getting questions about paramedical services, physiotherapy, speech therapy, chiropractors, and others in the former plans. While we have maintained the annual limit for physiotherapy and speech therapy, other paramedical practitioners were combined to an overall $500 maximum per insured individual. However, the mental health offering has been expanded to include psychotherapists and other certified mental health professionals not previously covered. Also, all paramedical services can now be claimed without a doctor's referral. And we've been asked about out-of-country coverage when we can travel again, or right now, if people have to travel for family reasons. Yes, it has been enhanced, so each member now has a lifetime credit of up to $5 million, instead of the half million for life and 5,000 annually in the former plans. So why are we eliminating the optional plan? It's simple, we cannot afford it. There is a shortfall of $2.5 million annually between what optional plan members are reimbursed and what their premiums cover. We heard loud and clear with the 50% increase in premiums in 2021 that members couldn't afford more significant increases like that. So the executive of the General Council approved a plan that can be secured for the future for all employees and ministry personnel. The document library on the new benefits website has all the documents you need, including a comparison chart of the former corn optional plans and the new plan. And we'll be revising the frequently asked question page as more questions arise. Finally, people are asking if they need to re-enroll in this new plan and what the premiums will be. No, members don't need to re-enroll. The benefits staff will move everyone over and starting January 1st, 2022, Members of the former optional plan, including family members, will be covered under the new plan. The plan will be entirely employer paid as the core plan used to be. So please have a look at the benefits website and thank you for your time today. Thank you as well. And please send any further questions to benefits at united-church.ca.